if you talk about the chance of life on Earth being partially annihilated because, because of the impact of a comet or an asteroid, and you try to tell that to the public, they giggle, they laugh at you. But then something happened that would wipe the smile off the smirkers' faces. Something sobering. January of 1993, the big problem was the giggle factor. July 1994, the giggle no more. It all began at the Palomar Observatory in January 1993. David Levy, Carolyn and Jean Shoemaker were hunting for asteroids and comets when Carolyn aimed a telescope at a corner of the solar system near Jupiter. Suddenly, she peers into the telescope and she says, I don't know what I've got, but it looks like a squashed comet. It looked like there were five or six comets all joined together, like linebackers running down a football field with tails behind them. It was really quite spectacular. They named this weird, strung-out comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. All we knew that night was that some catastrophic disruption had happened to this comet. But it was the orbit of Shoemaker-Levy 9 that caused a sensation. It was on a collision course with one of Earth's nearest neighbors, Jupiter. You find a comet that's split up into many pieces. It's not really news. But you find a comet that's split up into 20 pieces and they're all going to go colliding into Jupiter like a freight train wreck. That is news. The world of astronomy was poised. We're hoping that we're going to see a lot, but there's always been the chance that we'll see very little. Telescopes and cameras at the ready Shoemaker Levy 9 did not let down its expectant public. In July 1994, it put on an incredible show as vast fragments slammed into Jupiter. Yeah, that's oh it. my God! That's it. Look at that! This is actual footage of the impact. The collision was the first time in civilization that we had actually witnessed an impact in our solar system. This one blast cloud is itself as big as the Earth. Seeing a planet in distress, this is something that's been totally new. It's nothing like this had ever happened in the 400 years since the telescope was first looked at the stars by Galileo. This impact on Jupiter was the most destructive event ever witnessed in our solar system. You could actually see through any telescope the process of impact and what it was doing and, and, and the damage it was doing to this humongous planet many times bigger than the Earth. There's no more giggle factor. 